A blind man from Birmingham has won a national award for his efforts in promoting guide dogs. Mohammed Rashid has had to overcome many cultural and religious prejudices against him having a dog. Some Muslims believe that dogs are unclean, but thanks to Mr. Rashid and friends at his local mosque, his guide dog Solo has been welcomed into his community. Our special correspondent Peter Wilson has spent the day with this remarkable man. Can I touch his paw? You certainly can, yeah. You can certainly touch his paw. Mohammed Rashid is well known to the children of St John's Primary School in Spark Hill. He and his guide dog Solo are volunteers. For many of these Birmingham children, a dog used to be something to fear, but not anymore. Petrified. Were you? Why? <laughs> because I haven't met any dog before. I never stroked a dog or never seen one. Solo's um, changed my life in many different ways. Um, he's given me back my eyes. He's given me back my sense of achievement of independence. Mohammed was born blind and got his guide dog three years ago, but many Muslims don't trust dogs. Mohammed had to convince his own family it was the right thing to have Solo in their home and their lives. My wife being from Pakistan, um, obviously she was sort of saying, no, you know, I can't have a dog in the house um, because it's not the norm. If I, you know, you have the dog, then I'm going to have to move or, you know, you're going to have to move. It's one or the other. It's me, it's me or the dog that's going to live here. That's all changed and his wife loves Solo and has even decided to keep her husband too. Mohammed's cousin is also blind and she's faced criticism for relying on a guide dog. People see me the way I'm dressed and then they see the dog. I've had things said to me like, you're not a proper Muslim. People have said things like, well, if you have a dog, then don't dress like this. Choose one way or the other how it's going to be. Mohammed has won awards for his work for guide dogs for the blind. A local businessman has also helped him win over the community in Spark Hill. Back home, uh, my father kept a dog in our family. We love dogs, as you know, uh, people love dogs here as well. But we have that if the dog is wet, that we cannot touch them because it's not, uh, we cannot pray. When the, when the dog is dry, uh, you can touch dog, you can play with dog, there's no problem. And you shouldn't be scared of dogs. There are both positive and negative references to dogs in the Quran, but there's no getting away that lots of Asian people are very fearful of dogs. But Solo and Mohammed have both done more than anybody else in the country to overcome those fears. At the local mosque, everyone has been positive about the guide dog. They've even installed a kennel so that Solo is safe while Mohammed prays. Not having eyesight doesn't mean to say I can't still be a devout and Muslim um, because with the help of my guide dog um, to come to the mosque, I can still have the same outcome and the same achievement as uh, people with sight. Solo and Mohammed have both changed each other's lives and they're working to help others too. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Good to have you with us here on Midlands Today. This is our top